हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द सार्थक शो वेर वी डिस्कस अबाउट टेक करियर प्रोडक्ट एंड लाइफ एंड इन दिस स्पेशल पॉडकास्ट सीरीज वी हैव अ गेस्ट गरिमा शी इज वर्किंग एज अ सीनियर ए स्पेशलिस्ट एट मास्टर कार्ड एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कवर अबाउट मशीन लर्निंग इन जनरल ए आई डेटा साइंस वॉट आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स दैट शी डिड टू मूव फ्रॉम सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट टू वर्ड्स ए आई वॉट वॉज द uh what was what was her uh, belief system and what are the activities that she performed and how in this today's world you can crack those interviews and apply for companies which are aggress- hiring aggressively in ai market so stay tuned till the end of this video to know more about her life journey and everything uh and if you have not even subscribed to this channel yet please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon near that so that you get a notification every time i put a new video uh and also without further ado let's start with the video uh, hello everyone welcome back to my channel the sarthak show where we discuss about tech career product and life and today we have a very special guest with us garima she is working as a senior ai specialist at mastercard and today we will learn more about how how ai ml works in industry how you can break into this as a career option uh how or what are the hurdles or difficulties that you have to face to move into this uh, i would say industry so yeah thank you so much garima for joining on for this podcast and would like to know more about you uh, can you start by sharing your professional journey thank you so much sarthak for introducing me hi i am garima and as uh, sarthak uh, pointed out that i am working as a senior ai specialist here in mastercard ai garage in gurgaon uh it's been 2 years since i have been with mastercard and i must say it has been a tremendous journey ever mm-hmm. since i joined right after completing my post graduation from iim calcutta this was the post graduation where i mastered in the business analytics field mm-hmm. uh prior to joining uh, my masters and uh, studying in kolkata i uh, have 2 years of work, work experience uh, before this Mm-hmm. and in one of them i headed my own startup mm-hmm. and uh, one where i worked in as a software engineer um after graduating from delhi technological university uh, mastering in the computer science field i guess that's uh, mostly about it from my uh, educational background point of view yeah yeah i think phenomenal journey over here uh, having your own startup and get, completing your masters as well and working as the ai specialist or senior ai specialist at mastercard uh, so yeah phenomenal journey i think audience have a lot to learn from this particular video what can be typically associated with with the work that uh, ai specialists do okay so if you talk about my day to day responsibilities in my current job i am actually uh, heading uh, my own product the developments of my own products that i'm mm-hmm. developing for mastercard the mm-hmm. key, the aim of every product at mastercard is mostly to make the uh, payments more secure across the globe so i'm mm-hmm. very proud to say that i uh, throughout my tenure with mastercard i have been responsible and working with the development of three major products that are currently employed across the globe and you can see the impact and the success that they have achieved right. why uh, do we develop this and not any other team in mastercard is that all these products have a strong machine learning backend mm-hmm. uh, and they there are a lot of heavy uh, i wouldn't say heavy a lot of advanced techniques and uh, algorithms that makes pro- uh, our payments more secure Mm-hmm. yeah i think uh, uh at the scale that mastercard is operating with millions of transaction happening every day so uh, making those robust uh, products and for at at global scale and since you and your team has been able to do uh, three uh, amazing products then kudos to you what actually a technical background would be fitting for the person who is looking for a job at mastercard or any other similar company well uh at the most basic level of mastercard ai garage we have the uh, engineers who work on the uh, on the development part mm-hmm. uh, what is required from them is e- they should have a very strong backing in the computer science engineering or electrical field mm-hmm. at first and other concepts which are um, most important especially for ai and ml teams 
and what is especially what we look for in a candidate in mastercard is that they are uh, they should be very uh, strong in mathematics statistics mm -hmm. and computer science overall but how exactly did you apply to mastercard or uh, like uh, was it via referral or was it like on campus or uh, any other uh, like did, did the recruiter reached out to you and typically what was followed by next was your interview experience so what how was that interview experience for you so uh, after completing my masters from imc i was hired as a campus intern from uh, the campus uh, from the institute itself <clears throat> i joined in october 20, uh, 2019 and it was a six month internship that i interned with mastercard ai garage as a, as an intern specialist mm -hmm. and um, my experience if you talk about the experience the questions that i was asked were uh, fairly technical mm -hmm. and uh, there will be there were questions about statistics about the projects that i have been doing during my uh, course that i was pursuing in imc and uh, what kind of different way if uh, there was a diversity within the ml field itself like for mm -hmm. example there was um, a focus given to natural language processing time series modeling because at the end of the day mastercard is heavily into fintech mm -hmm. and there are some finance products also that are mm -hmm. in play and um, what else then the, and it comes uh, like there should be a uh, product recommendation algorithms that machine learning focuses on and mm -hmm. if there are uh, a, a portfolio of products and all these machine learning techniques that you have worked on then i feel that uh, that really helped me uh, convert my mastercard interview uh, as a campus intern other than that i am very passionate about computer science as a field i love coding and um, mathematics is a part and parcel of uh, i wouldn't say mathematics i think statistics is the most re more relevant term to use over here mm -hmm. right? right because you have to have strong statistical foundations to build good machine learning algorithms right at the end of the day uh, if the person has a good command mathematics uh, over mathematics and then uh, more specifically on the statistics part of it how things right. actually work and function how the data can be manipulated into different uh, uh, different statistical uh, things and you how you can derive more insights over it so yeah mm -hmm. that's the best part of it what is that is expected or in today's interview or how things have changed in if somebody faces an interview today how things happen today so uh, technical uh, like campus in, uh, interviews i would say are shorter then mm -hmm. when you uh, when you come to mastercard and apply to mastercard uh, laterally if mm -hmm. you want to join the team there are usually three or four rounds uh, focusing on each individual portion of the profile that you would be working towards mm -hmm. so i would say that one would be uh, checking your technical prowess your coding skills mm -hmm. and uh, your uh, general questions about uh, the field computer mm -hmm. science and statistics there will be some questions mm -hmm. uh, that will be covered in uh, the first two rounds itself okay. the third interview would be more technical and more ml related where you would be asked specific problems that mm -hmm. ail the ml industry and if you have uh, worked on different products itself you have to uh, provide a justification of why you did things why did you use this algorithm only Mm -hmm. and what was the choice that you made when you picked this algorithm and you should know the difference between one from the other like if a person goes into saying that whether uh, he can use clustering or classification for both these things mm -hmm. then what will be the questions that he can face uh, right. they can get uh, this is a purely technical round where uh, there will be uh, back and forth about the choices of the ml products sorry mm -hmm. ml algorithms that you would be working on the difference mm -hmm. between them the intricacies about each of them if you have used them uh, in your experience apart from working on products exactly we also do uh, a re uh, we also do research and innovation while at uh, mastercard agrad so it is also tested that if you can come up with good ideas and good problem solving skills and 
basically what would be your steps about building a product from scratch mm -hmm. and deploying mm -hmm. it within the MasterCard network. So okay. that kind of ideology and a mindset is a must have uh, in MasterCard AI Garage. And that is, and if you have these, then you are a prime candidate these typical rounds uh, are structured uh, for a candidate with uh, the last round being more technical. And mm -hmm. since uh, MasterCard is at the forefront of the FinTech space. Sure. So uh, an extension of that question would be if let's say somebody is in development field or software development field or any other uh, career right now, how they can move into AI, uh, like uh, what are the steps that they have to do for the transition uh, around it? So uh, coming from my experience, like I was myself a software engineer before uh, mm -hmm. joining MasterCard and before pursuing my master's uh, in business analytics. So mm -hmm. I would say that for me, the game changer was when I joined my postgraduate program uh, in IMC. It was mm -hmm. actually a tri institute program where not just IMC played a role. We had uh, two other semesters with ISI Kolkata and IIT Kharagpur. Where, mm -hmm. we, where we delved into the intricacies and the um, details of statistics and machine learning uh, before like structuring it in, as business analytics. So we were able to develop the foundation, which, is, mm -hmm. which forms the core of AI and machine learning. That was mm -hmm. statistics. So mm -hmm. I started from there. And since I already come from a computer science background, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't difficult to grasp onto the machine learning concepts, which I learned at uh, IIT Kharagpur. Mm -hmm. IIT, uh, oh, sorry. I am Calcutta gave me the foundation of how to structure all this to derive business from mm -hmm. this. Okay, so I would say that it's a very good combination that you should, uh, you might want to opt for if you're clear that this is the kind of direction you want your career to take. You want mm -hmm. to become a data scientist or a business analyst at the core. Mm -hmm. So for me, this worked very well. I understand that people also want to switch from a software position to a, a, a team like MasterCard AI Garage, where they want to pursue data science. Mm -hmm. for, for those folks, I would like to recommend that if they have a strong backing in statistics, they mm -hmm. uh, are passionate about statistics, the intricacies, the mathematics, uh, then um, it would be really helpful for them. Other than that, I think it would be uh, it's good to have good coding skills to okay. learn more about the machine learning tools that exist in the market. Yeah, as you mentioned that this um, it's an amazing uh, journey and how awesome was it to interact with different folks from different colleges, uh, be it ISI or be it uh, IIT KGP. So uh, working on the depth of the field in AI, data science, and ML. Uh, how things actually work over there. I think that is the, um, that is in fact a good motivation to move into this industry and how you can um, grow there. But my question would be slightly deflected from the current set would be uh, how difficult was this transition? What are the extra steps that you take to make this transition? And an extended version of this would be um, how a person can uh, like, can learn this stuff to get a job in AI. Right. So for from my experience, all I can say is uh, even while I was pursuing my computer science engineering with, in DTU, I, uh, my major projects uh, mostly were ML related. So I think that is where uh, I started developing an enchantment towards the field. And then I, when I got to know about the PGDBA program, I knew that this is the this is where I want to go and pursue my master's there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Many of uh, the people who are working as a software developer uh, developers right now, even uh, are getting some exposure in their current uh, jobs about uh, various algorithms, machine mm -hmm. learning and otherwise. So I have gotten feedback about this, that they are actually involved in building such tools mm -hmm. that involve machine learning concepts in the backend. So I think it will be much easier switch for them if they want to move into this field. For mm -hmm. others who 
who are really enchanted by the idea of machine learning and artificial intelligence and that is what motivates them to move to this field then i would say that there are plenty of courses available there are plenty of books available if mm -hmm. uh, i can recommend a few and people people are i welcome them to reach out to me and i can guide them best about mm -hmm. which courses they should pursue and uh, like they can uh, develop the technical background and what i got to learn myself yeah sure i think that will be grateful and uh, i will try to capture those links and put in the description box below so that the users can audience can check it out and no no more about it yeah how do they grow in the career like uh, since you have become from an intern to as a specialist and then you are working as a senior ai specialist how things progress in this direction in this domain so uh, in terms of the work that we are doing only the depth and the granularity changes like for example uh, when i joined as an intern i was i got the um, exposure that i would have uh, that i would have received by going from bottom to top Mm. right so i worked at the ground level when i was the intern and that is also very important when i and when i became an ai specialist uh, i got to grow into the same field and mm -hmm. how i can maximize the scale and the impact of the products that i'm developing that Got changed it. and right now i am in a position when i am the senior ai specialist i am leading a team and i am mm -hmm. mentoring my juniors and i'm also delving into the product research part of it that i'm recommending products that can be built to mm -hmm. um, make a uh, mastercard and the back end of it the ai powerhouse of it mm -hmm. right so in terms of responsibility i believe i've grown into this role where mm -hmm. i am in a place where i can not just work on building the products now mm -hmm. i'm in a place to recommend what products to build and what mm -hmm. kind of scale can they have instead of working on somebody suggested algorithm you have to think about how what algorithm is actually going to be used in uh, taking all those uh, long shots and calls over here what's the best possible way to reach out to you and uh, get a referral or a relevant job or what is the fitting personality that that will get uh, best uh, uh, that they will get the referral from you and the other person so they right right so yeah that's true i get plenty of requests for referrals mm -hmm. and i believe that some of the request i would recommend uh, to the people who reach out to me that i really feel that they should be very clear about what kind of field do they want to get in some mm -hmm. people just want to get into mastercard mm -hmm. as maybe an other profile some people want to get into ai mm -hmm. so i feel and uh, when they send me the referral request there is a variation where mm -hmm. i feel that the candidate himself is not very clear about which role do, do they want to pursue and opt for when they come mm -hmm. to work for mastercard so mm -hmm. i believe that they should have a clear understanding of what the role would require mm -hmm. right? right and if they are clear on that i am very happy to recommend them and if you have the technical um price and efficiency to work in ai i believe mm -hmm. mastercard ai garage is has done wonders for me in terms of career growth and i would mm -hmm. highly recommend the same team to everybody who reaches out to me other than that mastercard is a great company and uh, to all the candidates who reach out to me i feel that they should be very clear about the their own growth as mm -hmm. a person as an as a prof, as a working professional whether they want mm -hmm. to get into ai or some other field with mastercard that is one thing uh talking about the next part of your question about what would be the right fit to join mastercard ai garage uh, mm -hmm. um some experience working in the same field would be nice uh, mm -hmm. if they come from an ai or ml team and from a different company and uh, uh that would be good to have the must have that i would say to joining mastercard ai garage is that your technical foundations should be should be strong mm -hmm. like your statistical background your the mathematics that runs behind every algorithm uh, and statistical formulation should be clear in your mind mm -hmm. and uh, definitely good coding skills uh, help sure i think that makes sense and mm -hmm. 
since you mentioned that uh, there are certain backgrounds that their candidates are expected to cover their basis on some are good to have, some are must to have. And it makes sense to have those capabilities because since it's a hot market right now and it's very competitive right now, so you should be able to stand out with your capabilities and with your technical experiences or very strong background or maybe work ex in the same uh, field or similar type of company. And things are evolving at uh, at a very faster pace right now. So you have to be updated with the, the current here and uh, how things work. So yeah, I think very well summed up all of the th things. things. And I, I, I really thank you so much for highlighting all of these details uh, in this podcast around AI how you can become an AI specialist at MasterCard to be, uh, to make a career switch towards an ML or AI data science profile in any other company. Thank you so much for uh, sh uh, taking out time for this particular podcast and highlighting all those things in, uh, in so much depth. It was a pleasure interacting with you, Sartak. Thanks for having me on your show. Yeah, thank you so much, Gaima. Uh, Folks, so if you want to reach out to Gaima, I will put her LinkedIn link in the description box below. You can check that out. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. See you. Bye-bye.